Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here, and welcome to uh, this game. I don't even know how to start this. I don't even know what I'm going to say. I don't even know what to think about this fucking abomination of a culling game. So this is the culling 2, everybody. If you didn't know, now you know. I I think you're worse off for knowing, but, you know, whatever. So, this is Xaviant's next fantastic Battle Royale game known as The Culling 2. And, first things first, the gameplay you are seeing is being played on probably about 300 ping. Because they fucked up, as they did last time, in my opinion, and they decided not to have... Oceanic servers on launch. Which is what they did last time. They had the original culling come out. Now, I don't know why they do that, considering cloud servers are basically fuck all. Really. They don't cost a lot of money to have them. And if they weren't popular enough, they could always get rid of them. That's my opinion. By the way, I'm playing this live as I'm talking. This isn't no post-commentary bullshit. You're going to get my uh, raw thoughts as much as possible. So I played two matches on this game and got on one kill. Because it's pretty fucking hard when my ping is so ass to try and kill anybody, if I'm being honest. And I'm sure it's hard for them to try and hit me as well. But this is what you're getting when you buy the culling too. Um... Okay. I got an achievement called Noob. Awesome. But, uh, yeah, so his, that guy's game probably crashed, if I'm being honest, knowing how this game is at the moment. Uh, let's see, we got a Scar. Let's just pop this. How much ammo? We'll carry as much ammo as we possibly can. Oh, there we go. Now we're good. Um, so this is $20 USD, so this game cost me $26 Australian. Now, I don't know what you guys and girls think of that, but I think that's a load of shit. I think this game should have been, at best, free to play, with the way it feels... And especially with the fact that I can't even really enjoy the game as the developers intended it just because I don't have servers to play it on that aren't shithouse for me. That's the biggest issue I'm having. Is that the servers are just going to be trash. Um, let's put that on this one. And let's do that. Like, oh man, that original culling music, I can hear it playing. It just disappoints me. Pretty much is what I'm getting at. This game is a disappointment and an abomination that shouldn't exist. They should never have gone through developing the game in this state. And I'm, I'm actually... What makes me also very mad is their clear uh, lack of communication. I purposely ask them in advance, are you going to have Oceanic servers? And they did not reply to me. I tweeted them multiple times asking them, and I know my friend Andrew did as well. And they chose to ignore everything, of course, to get that extra fucking sale. So I went and purchased the game, and I couldn't find any videos out there showing all the regions that were available. So I launched the game, and that was the first thing I checked. And long and behold, no Oceanic. Now, trying to find a game on NA East is nearly impossible as it is, so I know Oceanic would have been dead as fuck, but it would have been nice to have seen them at least put in the slight bit of effort that it would take to include it. Now, basic stuff like no ping numbers that were in the original culling. There is no way to check your ping to a server in this game for an in-game HUD. 
So already they're missing basic features that were included in the original culling. And I don't know how they managed to make what the culling was at the end worse than, you know, uh, It is just pure frustration from me at this point. I mean, I can't even find anybody. It's a 50, 50 person game. And the map is stupidly large because your sprint speed is very slow in comparison to the size of the map. Look at the map. You know how long it would take me to run from end to end? That's fucking absurd. It's unnecessarily large for the scale that they're going for here, I think. Very open. Oh, you can you can do emotes though. That's important, right? Look at that. I'm meant to be a female character. Does this look female to you? Like my hair doesn't even render in when I've got a helmet on. So we take the helmet off. This is what my hair's supposed to be. You would think that you would at least see some of it at the sides, but no. Minute details like that, these developers don't focus on. And I multiple times requested a key for this game. Because I really did not want to spend the money that this game cost. But apparently I had no choice in the end. You should, you should see how, when I'm clicking my mouse versus what's happening on my screen, it's ridiculous. Look at how slow I'm running. Look at this. There's even a delay and an animation problem as well. I'm gonna stim up as well. You're getting... This is my raw impressions, and my impressions aren't great on this game. Like I said, I would have liked to have played it with a better ping. Because I feel like that might have slightly changed my viewpoint on the shooting mechanics. But I don't think it would have made much of a difference at all, if I'm being honest. Come on, motherfucker. Which side do you Okay, I actually got melee'd. Wow. That's surprising. And also, guess what? No spectator mode, so you can't even watch the games play out even if you wanted to. I don't know what to think anymore. I tried... I didn't have... I had a lot of hope, is what I will say. But I knew in my heart of hearts that it was going to be bad. So I'll show you, you've got your character customization, all this bullshit, right? Right? You've got your crates, which we'll open one now so you can see that. Okay. Very similar to the original. Then you've got your stats, which is leaderboard, blah, blah, blah. All unknown, because they don't fucking work, clearly. This is your general. Here's your server listings, NA East, EU, NA West, that's it. You've got sensitivities for every kind of scope in the game. You've got your controller layout if you want to do that. You've got your audio settings here, your video settings here. Key bindings, you can pause the video or whatever if you want to look at that. And then the credits from the team. This motherfucker is the cause of all this. I feel sorry for Josh, who I believe in my heart of hearts that he had the best interest for the culling originally. Now you got all these guns and these melee weapons. They've got this many melee weapons, this many guns. You got your emotes. So you've got the best emote of all is probably clearly this one. 
And also, my female character sounds like a guy, so you can tell they put a lot of time into this and a lot of a lot of thought, really. So a few culling cards that are all very meh, all with like a post-apocalyptic filter slapped over them to make them look aesthetically old and pleasing, I guess. And you've got solo, duo, squad, uneven duos or uneven squads. And then you've got all your perks. Now I'll go through them one by one. You've got Bruiser. You've got Maniac. You've got Big Boned. You've got Thick Skin. Steady Aim. Surgeon. Stealthy. Chrome Dome. Pack Mule. Ammo Belts. Steel Plate. Gunslinger. First Aid. Medical Miracle. Extender. Sub Magical, Crash Cart, Paramedic, Bomb Suit, Stimulated, Tactical Movement, Water Wings, Pusher, and Range Finder. So, that is basically the culling too. There isn't really much more I can say. Now, even if I queued again, the time it takes to actually get in a match is multiple minutes. And I mean multiple. Sometimes it could take 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to find a match. Currently now, the game has been out for about 2 hours. So, not a long time, but not a short span of time either. It peaked at 250 players. Now, I don't know what the plans are for the Culling 2 in the future. I probably am not going to refund it at the moment. I'll sit on it and I just won't play it. But, guys and girls, I would like to know your thoughts on the culling too. I don't know how many of you who are on my channel now played the original culling, but this is not anywhere close to the original culling. We can clearly state that. And also, if you think the game looks kind of colourful, that would be because I apply my own saturation when I record videos. This game is very non-vibrant. Very not vibrant at all. So... Oh. It hurts. It really does, because the, the original culling was the thing that started my YouTube channel's major growth. And now it's... it's it, It's nothing more than this. This is what it's become. I'm trying to get a guy, look at this guy's face. He's got a mask on. So you can see there's melee, there's left to punch, right clicks block, Q still shove. So you can shove a motherfucker. And you can pick up all these melee weapons. As you can see. The animations, I think, are even actually worse than what the original animations were somehow. I didn't know that was possible, but they don't seem to be very good. And in terms of settings, I think there's even less settings available in this game. Holy shit, the gunshots. I think there's less settings available in this game than what there was in the original culling. So if we come down here, I did want to show you this as well. If we come down here and you have a look... Look at that. I'll see if I can find a gun so I can zoom in. Hang on. Is there a gun lying around anywhere? Or is every motherfucker taking every single gun? I just want a gun so I can, like, show it off to you in, in a zoomed up image. Don't take all the guns. Just leave me a gun with no ammo. I don't give a fuck. not really the best weapon to, ch to test it out on. Doesn't matter, I guess. Alright, stop shooting at me. No, I'm not going to get to show you. No! But there's pictures there, basically, from the original culling map. And it's like a, a sweet nostalgia trip, but at the same time, it's like... It's nothing, you know... It's nothing to see, really. And also, I've noticed the helicopters spawn at different heights, so sometimes you jump out and you're very close to the ground, other times you jump out and you're very high off the ground. I don't know what's up with that. It doesn't even look like anybody jumped out here, unfortunately. Fuck. 
Oh, riveting gameplay here. Everybody get ready for it. Oh, and I also think I accidentally changed my perks. Yeah, I changed to Bruiser, which I'm not going to be using a melee weapon, because my ping wouldn't even give me a chance to get a kill with a fucking melee weapon. I don't know why I even picked up that. Alright, let's try and loot up as fast as we can. Save you guys some time and actually have me start being on the move. I love how the animation cancels out. That's pretty cool. <sighs> Alright. This is, I think, where we landed last game. We'll pick this up just in case we end up feeling melee weapon for whatever reason. And then we'll pick up an AK. Okay, so I've got a 9mm and a 7.62. Mm. I need to remember that. Let's pick up a helmet, stand a full grip. This is the right shield, I'll show this off too. This is your right shield. How relevant that is, never tried it. Don't think it's probably very good though. Toxin container. I don't know what that's supposed to do for me. Apparently it said I picked it up, but it doesn't look like I did. I don't know. Alright, let's also take these explosive runs. And just pop one, so I at least have some sprint speed about me. Some sprint boost. Okay, now let's just go find people to kill. A suppressor for a 45, of course it is. Something I don't have. Alright, he shots down here. go. Now, you would think with a map this big, maybe they thought, oh, we'll try vehicles. No, not the case. Explosives run seems to give me a health boost as well. Uh, oh, Salty's in this game as well, which is the guy we killed last game. He tried to push me. And he got shat on. So there is an alt look as well. I don't think there's any other... There's no other viewing modes but third person. And there is also no crafting in this game like there was in the original culling. That has been completely taken out. If you wanted, like, a basic summary of this, this is basically as close to a H1 clone as you could get rather than a PUBG clone like some people were claiming I think it's definitely more H1 than what it ever is PUBG even in aesthetics okay you do take fall damage that's fucking good to know I'm really glad about that oh man that makes me very happy very glad they included that is there a swimming animation no all the water is ankle deep of course be too much effort. Like, the animations are pretty... Eh, like, look at this. Okay. So, X takes your weapon away. Control. Double tap it, you stand up. Listen, look at the delay. Listen to this. Very glad I just took damage from fucking somewhere over here. Don't have a zoomed in scope though. 
Where the fuck is he? Come on, shoot at me again. Don't shoot at me again, will ya? Come on, do you even know where I am? No, I don't. You're about to get shot on, dude. Oh, by the way, there's no peeking mechanic, either. So that's good. Oh well, I tried melee. It's basically impossible. Alright. Well. There you go. That's the culling too. I'm sure Big Fry and some other big YouTubers and Twitch streamers are going to be sharing their thoughts and opinions over the next few days. I thought I'd get mine out there. Um, I mean, it, it might have even been slightly fun if I could have a decent ping to it, because I think I could do semi-okay. But with no Oceanic servers, no clear support for the future, given the game devs... Uh, clear lack of understanding what the gaming community wanted out of a culling 2 um i think that's enough for me so anyway guys and girls if you liked the video remember to leave a like if you want to see more for whatever reason or if you just want to see more of me be sure to hit that subscribe button don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below leave your thoughts about the culling to down in the comments section below thank you all so much for watching and i hope you all have a lovely day all right poise